I was wrong. The other day I uploaded a video on five riffs that you might be playing wrong in Disposable Heroes by Metallica and it turns out that I was also playing one of them wrong. Specifically, the riff that James plays behind Kirk's guitar solo. It's really hard to hear what's going on with that riff on the original Master Puppets recorded version. All of the isolated guitar tracks that I found online just feature Kirk's solo. And I was mainly going off of a combination of guesswork and listening closely to what James usually plays live whenever they play the track. Thankfully, one of you wonderful weekend wankers pointed me towards the fact that if you search out the original vocal isolated track, for whatever reason, it actually features what James is playing behind the guitar solo section. So on to Today's lesson, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how James plays it on the studio version. Hey there guys and welcome to this special bonus installment of Weekend Wank Shop. Here's your good buddy, Uncle Ben. So yeah, that riff is definitely a little bit different than what I thought that it was and definitely different from the way that James plays it live now. But it's funny because ever since I heard those isolated tracks of what he's actually playing behind the solo, I go back and listen to the original recording and it's like all that I can hear now. It's almost like after you see, you know, like a magic eye poster, you finally see the hidden image and then that's all you can see. It's kind of like that. You guys can track down a full tab for this riff over on my Instagram page at Ben Eller Guitars to search for Weekend Wank Shop 219 and you're going to find it. And give a guy a follow while you're over there. Okay, so this section is made up of three different riffs. I'm going to call them the pull-off riff, the power chord riff, and the harmony riff. Let's dig in real quick into that pull-off riff. This is exactly as I detailed it in the original 219 video. Uh, but real quick, let's go over again just in case you've never seen that video. Because this is one of the most like wrongly played Metallica riffs in history. Start off by playing an E power chord on your open E and 2nd fret A. Chug the low E string two times. Then you're going to come up here and play an A power chord. That's 5 on the E and 7 on the A. Play that and then pull off with your first finger to the open E string. That's the section most people miss. Two chugs, a uh, third fret power chord here, it's a G, three and five. Do the same thing you did with the A, hit the power chord, then pull the first finger off. Notice it's just the first finger, I'm keeping this note held down right here. Two chugs, an F sharp here on two and four, same deal, hit the power chord, pull the first finger off. Two chugs. So that's the pull off riff. Now after this, this is followed by the power chord riff, which I was close on, but not exactly right. Let me show you guys what's up. Hit a C power chord here on three and five on your A and D strings. Take that up a whole step to five and seven. This is a D. Right back down to your C, that's three and five. And then he plays this little fill at the end. Now this is a C power chord again. Moving down to a B power chord at two and four. And then two notes here on your low E string. You're just walking down towards E. So you're going to play G at the third fret, F sharp at the second fret. Okay, so the whole power chord riff is. Be sure to notice how the two notes on the low E were really heavily palm muted. Like that. That'll lead right back into the pull off riff again. After this, we get to the harmony riff, which is what James plays while Kirk does the fancy little anthemic part of a solo up there. Now, what I showed you guys in the original video is more like what James plays live, which is something like this. But that's actually quite a lot different from what is on the original studio version of the record, which is like this. It's got some pretty huge stretches in it, which is why I suspect he doesn't play it that way live. It's because, you know, if you're James and you're playing with the guitar down to your knees, doing a pull-off from 12 to 7 
is pretty tough. Now this riff goes through two different times and it's like the very first part of the riff is different both times. So the first time what you're gonna do is start off by sliding into the eighth fret E string here with your middle finger. I suspect he's got a two or three fret kind of runway. So you're gonna slide into that eighth fret, give it two chugs, and then the first of our pull-offs here, which is gonna be on the A string from 12 to seven. And big stretch. Go back and chug that eighth E two times. Then do another pull off on the A. This is going to be 10 to 7. Two chugs on that 8th E. And then another pull off here, 9 to 7 on the A. Two chugs. That's the first time through the riff. So you got the slide. We'll do it one more time. And then after this, we get into the second time through the riff, which replaces the slide with this chord. Now this is kind of unusual. Whenever I heard this, I was like, is that really what he's doing? Because it sounds like a major seven kind of voicing. What I suspect is going on is he was really just trying to hit an E power chord here on seven and nine on your A and D strings, but he's still got that middle finger held down on the C note. So it might just be that he slightly grazes that note with the pick and ends up hitting eight, seven, nine on the bottom three strings. Or it just might be the fact that it's still kind of like ringing out from when he was doing all the chugging on it. It's kind of hard to say, honestly, so. So the second time through the riff, you're just gonna start off with your kind of major 70 chord, two chugs, and then the same pull-offs as before. 12 to seven, 10, nine, just like that. And that is the actual way he's playing that harmony riff. Pretty cool. So the first part starts with the slide, the second part starts with the chord. I'll give it to you one more time here. One more time slower. Then you're back to the pull off riff and that's basically it for the entire solo section. Let's give it one more hot lap here just for good measure. So we start off with the pull off riff. Power chords. Same thing. Harmony riff. Thanks so much for watching this video and a huge thanks goes out to you loyal weekend wankers and suckamaniacs who pointed me towards that vocal isolated track so that I could better hear James's awesome rhythm guitar part behind that solo and rid the world of more fake news tabs. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for new lessons coming at you all the time. You all can follow me on Instagram at Ben Eller Guitars, on Facebook at facebook.com slash Uncle Ben Eller and support me on the Patreon at patreon.com slash Ben Eller Guitars. Thanks again for watching. Now get away from this computer and go play some grit tar. Less clicking, more picking.